Muy buenas tardes. Eh, ya vamos a empezar la clase para el 21 de septiembre. Vamos a esperar unos momentos para ver si algunos alumnos se conectan. Good evening. Welcome to the class for today. For uh, good evening, Anna. Good evening, Rafael. Welcome good to the class teacher. for today. Uh, thank you for being here on time. And we are going to begin in a couple of minutes. Ya vamos a comenzar en unos minutos. Solo vamos a esperar a ver si se conecta alguien más. Solo vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso acerca de lo que vimos ayer y vamos a seguir con la explicación de la gramática que creo que algunos ya, ya la practicaron, ¿verdad? Entonces solo voy a, a revisar eso y ya vamos a comenzar. This is the platform. Uh, have you worked in the platform? ¿Ya trabajaron en la plataforma? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the section four, uh, what we were doing yesterday, right? Do you have any question? Did you finish it already? I finished at this section. You finished the section. Okay, perfect. So yesterday we were talking about this conversation um, about gestures, right? We finished it. And today we are going to talk about model and verbs. Model and verbs. And probably we will have a little bit of um, exercises with that. So let me see here. And also, I guess this... Uh, we are going to check this tomorrow, permission, prohibition, and obligation. And we are going to have a review on Friday, right? But if you have any questions, if you have alguna pregunta de algún ejercicio, de ejemplo, de los audios, o de alguna actividad o algún tema de la plataforma, pues me pueden decir, ¿verdad? In this moment, we are going just to check uh, previously what we, what we were doing uh, previously. Like in this uh, section, section four, we were talking about vocabulary like em emotions, right? Like bored, great job, that's awful, amazing, amused, laughing, crying, embarrassed. So we were talking about different emotions and also gestures, right? Like annoyed, confused, embarrassed, frustrated, irritated, bored, disgusted, exhausted, impatient, and nervous. So we were talking about different, um, the body language, we were trying to describe it, right? So also we practiced with these gestures yesterday, and we practiced with these, um, these conversations. Now, in these conversations, we were talking about, we were using models and adverbs. Do you know what a modal or what an adverb is? ¿Saben qué es un modal o un verbo modal o un adverbio? Do you know?
Did you check it before or not? Seven K. Uh, uh huh. I don't remember, but explain me, please. You don't remember. Okay, models. Models, as we can see there, they are used with a main verb. Los modals o los verbos modales se utilizan con un verbo principal, ¿verdad? Ellos modifican o nos dan información extra de un verbo principal. Por ejemplo, en la primera oración dice it might or it may uh, mean he doesn't understand you. So, might está modificando el verbo mean significar, ¿verdad? It could mean he doesn't agree with you. Eh, podría uh, significar que no está de acuerdo contigo. Podría significar, o oh, that must mean he agrees with you. Eso debe de significar que está de acuerdo contigo. Entonces, ellos, los modals, nos ayudan con los verbos principales. Solo los verbos principales. Y los adverbios nos dicen cómo pasa algo. O si son de tiempo, ¿verdad? Nos dicen cuándo o el lugar, dónde. Y ellos no solo modifican a, al verbo, sino que pueden modificar a otro adverbio, a un nombre, a un adjetivo, a una oración completa o a otro adverbio. O sea, tienen más posibilidades de modificar, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, um, good evening, Olga. Good evening, Alejandra. Thank you for coming. Entonces, esa es la diferencia de los modals y los adverbios. Okay, so that's what we are going to study today. Eso es lo que vamos a estudiar hoy. Este, los adverbios, también otra diferencia es que pueden eh, cambiar de lugar, ¿verdad? Pueden estar al principio de una oración, pueden estar en medio, pueden estar al final de una oración, cambian de lugar. Pero los modals, ellos nada más van a la par del, del verbo que modifican o al verbo que ayudan, ¿verdad? Siempre van a ir a la par, no pueden cambiar de lugar. Y los adverbios, sí. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a revisar hoy. For example, in this conversation, this is the conversation that we practiced yesterday, right? Are you able to check any, any model there or any adverb? Pueden ver si en la... En la conversación hay algún modal, algún adverbio. Could. Which one? Always. Could. Could. Always. Another one. Might, right? What is the meaning of might? It might mean she wants to accept it. Podría. Podría, exactly. Podría, ese es un modal o un adverbio. Might is a modal, a right? Modal. A modal. Podría significar que ella quiere aceptarlo. Very good. Eh, actually. Actually, actually es un adverbio, pero no es un adverbio de posibilidad, lo que vamos a estudiar hoy. Okay. Este, pero sí es un adverbio. Ahora hay otro que dice, it could mean she doesn't want anything. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. could mean, right? Could, ¿qué significa could? De poder. Podría. Podría, podría, podría significar. Podría, podría significar. ¿Y ese es un modal o es un adverb? Modal. It's a modal. Very good. Could. And yeah, actually, that's, those are the ones that we can find in that conversation. So, así los podemos usar como en esa oración, ¿verdad? So this is where we are going to uh, study. Did you investigate a little bit more of models and adverbs or did you study this in the platform? Yes? No? No. No? <laughs> okay. So sorry. To... <laughs> not, not today. Oh, not today. Sorry. Okay, yeah. no problem, Olga. Ana, Alejandra, Soraya, did you investigate a little bit of models and adverbs? Something else that you can tell me? Algo que me puedan decir? Mm. I was not um, in the class yesterday. You were not in the <laughs> class, right, Ana? Okay, pr 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 no problem. Yesterday we were just checking about gestures and vocabulary about like emotions and how to describe body language okay but you can check that also in the platform 
Uh, but in this case, today we are going to specifically talk about models and adverbs. And no cualquier, no vamos a hablar solo de cualquier modal o adverb, sino que de, de posibilidad, ¿verdad? According to this, or according to what we, what we are seeing in the platform, we have models like it might or it may mean, it could mean, it must mean, right? Like possibility, like slight possibility and strong possibility. Como que tiene menos posibilidad de que pase mm -hmm. algo y más posibilidad. And the adverbs also maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, or definitely, right? What is it? What is the meaning of definitely? Definitivamente. Definitivamente, right? It definitely means, right. So uh, that is the, the information that we have there. Also, we have that when we are not sure about the meaning, we use models like might, may, could, and also we use adverbs like maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. Cuando no estamos seguros de algo, del significado de algo, o si algo va a pasar, pues podemos usar eso. Es una posibilidad. Sure about the meaning. Cuando estamos seguros acerca de algo, si utilizamos must, ¿verdad? Must is un model. O el adverbio, definitely. So we have uh, the same, right? Strong possibility, slight possibility. Models and adverbs, okay? Ya después, eh, tal vez podemos hacer un repaso y vamos a repasar estas reglas. Important to know the use of maybe and perhaps always go at the beginning of a sentence. Whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Aquí dice que maybe, perhaps, en qué lugar se escribe de la oración. Al principio. At the beginning, right? Very good. And possibly, probably, and definitely, where should we write it? Antes after, del sujeto. After the subject, after. exactly. Uh -huh. After the subject. I possibly do this, right? She probably will do that. Uh, Alejandra definitely will study, right? So that's how we write it. And always uh, can be at the beginning of a sentence also. The use of maybe and perhaps. Maybe I will go to, to San Salvador tomorrow. Perhaps I will stay at home, right? So, ahí tienen que poner atención como, como los utilizan. Okay, these are also models, right? The same things. It might mean she wants to accept it. It can mean she doesn't want anything. And that must mean no. Esos son los modos. Y los adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means she wants to accept it. It probably means she doesn't want anything. That definitely means no. So we have models and adverbs. And now, do you have any questions about models and adverbs right now? Preguntas? No questions? Okay, we are going to add more information to this slide. Uh, uh huh. Uh, what is different in maybe and perhaps? Maybe and perhaps is similar, like synonyms, right? Uh -huh. Synonymous. Perhaps oh, okay. is like maybe. It's okay. like the same. Okay, very good. Now I Thank need you. more examples. Necesito ejemplos para ver si podemos utilizarlos, ¿verdad? Can somebody help me, please, like writing sentences with models and adverbs? Alguien que me ayude con un model primero, with a model first. Give me a sentence with a model, please. It can be my, may, could, must. I, I could study English because I have a very busy day. Okay, I couldn't, right? Study uh -huh. English. English is with capital letters yeah. because I had a busy day, right? Uh -huh. Very good. Perfect, perfect. We have could, couldn't, mm -hmm. and study. In this case, this model is not uh, giving us like a sense of uh, permission or possibility, but it's uh, like, um, 
it's like a, a, an action, right? Una acción que no pudimos realizar, okay? Now I need another one with an adverb. An adverb uh, using maybe, perhaps, probably, definitely. Mm -hmm. Alguien que me ayude con un adverbio? An adverb, please. Ana, Alejandra, Soraya, we have Isaac, Felix, and also Rafael. Con un adverbio, with an adverb. She probably mm -hmm. goes to the movie this weekend. She probably uh, goes to the movie uh -huh, this weekend. Goes to the movies this weekend. Okay, very good. She will probably, uh, she will probably will go. Okay, ella probablemente va a las películas este fin de semana. Okay, very good. We can add that. Yes, thank you. Uh, one more, una más con modals, con must, o con might, o con may, porque could ya lo usamos. ¿Cómo podríamos usar might, may, or, or must? Someone, please. For example, Anna. Anna might be guessing about the class today. Okay. Ana podría estar preguntándose acerca de la clase hoy. Mm -hmm. Probably because she was absent. Probably because she <laughs> yes, might be guessing about the class. So podría, I don't know. Porque podría ser de que haya estudiado antes. Podría ser que no. And I need um, another one with an adverb. La última con en un adverbio. Somebody can tell me a sentence with maybe, perhaps, definitely. Somebody, please, with an adverb, a sentence with an adverb. I, uh, teacher, mm -hmm. sería, I, I, ya me pedí. I may play the piano when, I, como le digo, tomo clase, cuando tome clases, teacher, when, I take classes. I take classes. When I take classes. I may pay, play the piano when I take classes. Very good. May. Yes. Yes. May is a, is a model. There is a thing with, mod, with the model may. Uh, we can use maybe also. I maybe play the piano when I take classes. Tal vez toque el piano cuando tome clases. Very good. Perfect. So may and maybe, right, can be um, synonyms. Pero may se utiliza, it is used when it's really formal. When you speak, actually you don't use it very often. Um, only when you're writing something really formal or before it was used really regularly, right? Antes se usaba más regularmente el may. Pero may es bien formal y solo se utiliza para escribir cosas bien formales. Eh, pero está ahí para que nosotros lo sepamos, ¿verdad? Very good, perfect. So it's, we have different examples now. I couldn't study English because I had a busy day. That is uh, an action, right, that we were not able to perform. She probably goes to the movies this weekend. Yeah, that is a possibility. Ana might be guessing about the class today. And... I maybe play the piano when I take classes. Entonces, um, aquí maybe, como este era un modal, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Lo cambiamos de lugar. Entonces, maybe, recuerden que siempre va a ir al principio, ¿verdad? So, maybe 
I will play the piano. Maybe I play the piano when I take classes or I will play the piano when I take classes. That's a possibility, right? Entonces, ahí ya están correctas todas las oraciones. Questions about this? Teacher, uh -huh. Sí, tengo. ¿Por qué al principio? No entiendo eso. Um, con los adverbios no necesariamente puede ir al principio, ¿verdad? Aquí, este, aquí nos dice the use of Pero, maybe and perhaps, the use of maybe uh -huh. and perhaps always go at the beginning of a sentence, ¿verdad? Pero oh. con los adverbios, eh, ellos pueden cambiar de lugar. Normalmente, lo decimos así, normalmente van al principio. Maybe it means or perhaps, pero pueden ir también al sí, final sí. de la oración. Al Dependiendo final. Qué si al final pueden ir en medio los adverbios. Así como yo lo cambiar. había planteado, no, no, teacher. No puede play. ser. <risa> Eso no, no me queda claro. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, no puede ser en cualquier lugar de la oración. Dependiendo Solo de que al principio esté... y al final. Dependiendo de que esté modificando, pero maybe, I maybe play the piano. O sea, I understand it, ¿verdad? Pero grammatically, uh -huh. grammatically, it could be a little bit incorrect because of the position. Porque normalmente se utiliza al principio. Pero I okay. will, pero si, lo, si se puede usar así, I will maybe or I'll maybe. Eso sí lo pueden escuchar, lo pueden escuchar en series, lo pueden escuchar en películas, porque el lenguaje cambia, ¿verdad? No es como que es, esta regla sí tiene que ser, sino I'll maybe do it later. Entonces yo lo puedo utilizar así. Pero aquí en la regla dice que maybe al principio, al final, pero puede ser también este, como usted lo estaba planteando. I'll maybe, por ejemplo, si yo le pongo I will, ¿verdad? I'll... Maybe, I'll maybe play the piano when I take the class. Yo tomaría esto como correcto, ¿verdad? I'll maybe play the piano when I take classes. Pero lo puedo poner al principio. Normalmente va al principio, but that is not a rule. Los adverbios pueden cambiar de lugar, pueden ir al principio, en medio o al final. Okay. Okay, perfect. Very good question. Very good question. So, uh, al, al final podríamos ponerlo también, pero tendría que llevar una coma, ¿verdad? Como, I play the piano when I take classes, coma, maybe, ¿verdad? Ahí también podría ir. Pero, we are going to check that later. Now, um, this is like, a, este es refuerzo, ¿verdad? De lo que estamos viendo, models and adverbs of certainty. The certainty or possibilities, como similar synonyms, right? We can use the models, might, may, could, must, and the adverbs, maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, and definitely, to express how sure we are about the meaning of signs and gestures. Not only for gestures, but also for our personal uh, or situation or, or, or life, right? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you, That must mean it's perfect. Y aquí tenemos eh, los, las fórmulas, como más o menos cómo utilizarlo, ¿verdad? For, for example, models, subject plus model plus mean plus complement, right? It might, may mean she can hear you. Los models siempre van a ir a la par de el verbo que modifican. It will be next to the verb that provide more information to. It can mean he doesn't know. That must mean be quiet. So if, if you can see, models cannot be moved, right? They stay in the same position, right? My main and then the main verb, the main verb. Adverbs, adverbs, subject plus adverb plus means plus complement. As you can see here at the, at the beginning is maybe perhaps it means come here. It possibly, probably means call me. That definitely means you're crazy. So normally uh, they go next to the verb that they modify, right? But they can modify different things. And maybe and perhaps it says here that we can use it at the beginning of a sentence, but you can move them, right? You can move them. Let's see here. This is more information about 
I will, me lo voy a hacer esto más grande porque creo que para que se mire mejor. I will make it bigger. And it says here, a uh, pattern. This is the pattern, model plus base verb. A base verb is one with no endings. Cuando miren que ahí les explica que es un base verb, es el que no tiene fina, finales, ¿verdad? que no, tiene, no está en ING, que no está en S, que no está en, en ED, no está en pasado, etc. The model always comes before the base verb. We might go to the party tomorrow night. She could decide to join us. Function. What is the function of the models? We use these models to describe a possible action. Because of the uncertainty, these models are often used to talk about the future. Though sometimes we want to express possibility in the present. I may go traveling next year. My keys might be in the car. So we have two situations, future possibility and present possibility. Esto es con models, ¿verdad? Pay attention porque después van a hacer una actividad con esto, ¿verdad? Now, examples. They might attend the awards ceremony tomorrow night. He could call you back tonight. We could choose a new color of paint for the bedroom. I might join you if I finish early. The results of the study may shed some light on this condition. Ok, entonces eso es, es siempre, ahí está resaltado el modo y el main verb, ¿verdad? El verbo con el que están modificando, el que están dando más información. So, may, my and cool are used for possibility. There is no difference in meaning except for formality. Lo que decía, ¿en qué se parece? Maybe, or perhaps, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? May, might, and could. Um, pero may is quite formal. Como les decía, may es muy formal. You might see it in formal writing. May is quite common in speaking and writing in British English. También eh, en el inglés británico lo usan más, ¿verdad? Que en el americano. And cool is also used for possibility. Como uh, decía Olga, I couldn't study because I had a busy day. Entonces, could es usado para habilidades, para cosas que podemos hacer. En este caso, es eh, pasado de quién, ¿verdad? Podemos también decir que es el pasado de quién. No pude, I couldn't, ¿verdad? Entonces, también es, se usa como el pasado de quién, pero es, es un auxiliar también, es un modal, perdón. He could finish his project tonight. It's a possibility. He could swim when he was a child. Past ability, right? So it's a possibility. He could, él podría haber finalizado. Eh? O él pudo nadar. O, o él podía nadar cuando era un niño. Past ability. Entonces ahí está la diferencia. Well, I guess that is the, the, the fin we finish with the models and, uh, Also with adverbs, los adverbios, más o menos, ¿verdad? Los revisamos. Uh, any question, preguntas acerca de cómo los podemos usar, si quieren hacer más ejercicios. Do you have any question, any doubt? No questions? Okay, we are going to continue then. Listen and practice. Also, we... Uh, The grammar is important, right? But also the pronunciation to speak right normally. So this is like a listening practice, the pitch uh, of the pronunciation to express cer certainty or doubt. Sometimes in, in español, a veces no tenemos esto, pero tenemos que eh, revisarlo in English, ¿verdad? For example, do you think her gesture means no? So, ¿cómo pronunciamos definitely? Like, definitely, but definitely. Eso es que estamos seguros, ¿verdad? Definitely. Y que no estamos seguros, ¿cómo sonaríamos? Uh, probably, probably. So, it's different. Another example. Do you understand what her gesture means? Absolutely. Absolutely is like we are certain, right? Pero si no estamos seguros, ¿cómo podíamos sonar? Maybe, maybe, right? We are not sure. Maybe. So the intonation, the pitch goes up. 
when we are certain about something, it goes down. And we, when we are uncertain, we, it goes up, okay? So vamos a practicar esto just a little bit. We are going to listen to it. Vamos a escucharlo solo para que ustedes oigan el audio. Creo que lo tengo acá. And then we are going to do something else. Unit 14. Now I get it. Page 93. Exercise 3. Conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Page 93. Exercise 4. Grammar focus. Modals and adverbs. Modals. It might mean she wants... Are you able to, to see it? Are you able to see it right now and listen to it? ¿Pueden escucharlo? Sí, sí. Yes, okay. Sí, sí. Yeah. okay. I'm going to play it. I'm going to yes, play teacher. it. Okay, yeah. perfect. I'm going to play it. Let's to accept it. It may mean she wants to accept it. It could mean she doesn't want anything. That must mean no. Adverbs. Maybe it means she wants to accept it. Perhaps it means she wants to accept it. It probably means she doesn't want anything. That definitely means no. Page 94. Exercise 5. Pronunciation. Pitch. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how pitch is used to express certainty or doubt. Do you think her gesture means no? Certain. Definitely. Uncertain. Probably. Do you understand what her gesture means? Certain. Absolutely. Uncertain. Maybe. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to practice this, okay? It says here that we can practice it asking yes, no questions, right? Uh, for example, I can ask Olga, Olga, um, were you busy today? Entonces, uh, you, we can answer with definitely or absolutely, right? And if we are not sure, probably, maybe, okay? So I'm going to start with Olga. I will ask a yes, no question. Y ustedes pueden escoger cualquiera de las respuestas. A certain answer or uncertain, okay? I just want to check the pronunciation. Like, for example, first, Olga, uh, were you busy today? I probably. Okay, probably is like probably. The intonation, yeah. Olga. The intonation. Uh, probably. <laughs> okay, probably. Probably. Sorry. Probably. 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 Yeah. Probably. 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 <laughs> probably. Okay, not, not probably, right? Probably. Okay, okay probably, probably when we are uncertain. Uh, uh, now, Olga, ask someone else. Pregúntele a alguien más, Olga. Um, Rafael. A just no question. Any just no question. Um. Uh, do you think you visit her family this weekend? Absolutely. Very good. Absolutely. Perfect, Rafael. Now, ask someone else. You can ask Ana, Alejandra, Soraya, any Soraya. Yes, no question. Okay, Soraya. Do you cook in tonight? Soraya, are you cooking tonight? Soraya, are you there?
Yes, probably she has problems with the audio or something like that, right? Okay, ask someone else, Rafael. Isaac. Isaac. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Do you, work, do you work today? Definitely. Very good, Isaac. Definitely. Very good. Isaac, ask someone else. Uh -huh. Anna. Anna, okay. I suggest no question Anna. to Anna. Uh, Anna, do you learn English today? Probably. Probably. Very good, Anna. Probably. Ask someone else, Anna. Go ahead. Who, cool, teacher? Uh, we have... Alejandra, we have, uh, um, well, Soraya, now, right? Alejandra. Okay. Alejandra. Mm -hmm. do, you, um, do, you, do you study this night? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Very good. Perfect. Do you study? Tonight, do you study tonight? Very good. Estudias esta noche, very good. Perfect. I was going to check also the just no question. Quería ver si podían formular just no questions also. Very good, perfect. Now we are going to continue with the next exercise. This was just to check, right? Let me see, I got stuck. Creo que me trabé. Aquí está. And we are going to check it right now. Just let me see here. ¿Cuál es la próxima? Now, everything is clear with models and adverbs, right? So we don't have any question, any doubt. So now we are going to check an activity. This will be your homework for tomorrow. We are going to read it first. And then we are going, I'm going to explain to you. This is things I'd change, right? For example, if we are, we would like to change things from last year or probably in the future, right? Uh, we can use models and also adverbs of certainty. So we are going to read this example. This is an example of uh, he is trying to, change things he did in the past. Who wants to read it? Who wants to help me read? Un voluntario que me ayude a leer? A voluntario? Me. Okay, Rafael, go ahead. Things I've changed. If I, if I had to relive last year, I would definitely, definitely ex ex exercise more. I definitely wouldn't watch as much TV and will probably work out at the gym more. I will try to stop snaking so much, but I probably wouldn't give up ice cream because it's my favorite snack. If I exercise more and ate less junk food, I will lose some weight. I did probably feel a lot healthier too. Very good, perfect. So this reading is uh, things that he had, she would have changed, right? Would have changed in the last uh, last year. If I had to relive last year, definitely exercise more. Definitely wouldn't watch as much TV. Probably work out at the gym, right? probably wouldn't give up ice cream because it's my favorite snack and probably feel a lot healthier. So he is using definitely and probably, but we can use more. Entonces quisiera um, que hicieran más o menos lo mismo, que hicieran eh, algo que quisieran cambiar o que planear, planeasen hacer en, en los siguientes días, en el siguiente mes, en los siguientes meses, ¿verdad? So, for, for example, probably... I will eat healthier in next month, right? In October, 
definitely I will take long walks or I will relax more. Uh, maybe I will I will go to the movies with my friends more often or uh, maybe I will go to the gym, right? Cosas que probablemente quisieran cambiar o probablemente no. So that would be your homework for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we are going to read. You can write just like four or five sentences, como cinco o cuatro oraciones, short, like this one, and that will be enough. But try to use different things like all of these, right? Maybe, may, could, must, possibly, probably, definitely, all of these, right? Deten de usar todos los modos y adverbs que puedan. Okay, perfect. Now, tomorrow we are going to check it. And these are adverbs of certainty. Aquí parece que los adverbs no lo habíamos terminado. Como había, habíamos estudiado los modos, ¿verdad? Pero no los adverbs of certainty. We use adverbials of probability to show how certain we are about something. The commonest adverbials of probability are certainly, clearly, definitely, obviously, maybe, perhaps, possibly, right? Maybe and perhaps usually come at the beginning of the clause. Como les decía, no hay una regla que diga que siempre van a ir, ¿verdad? Sino que aquí dice usually, usualmente, van al principio. Perhaps the weather will be fine. Maybe it won't rain. Other adverbs of possibility usually come in front of the main verb. Algunos van eh, a, a, a adelante del verbo principal, ¿verdad? He is certainly coming to the party. Will they definitely be there? We will possibly come to England next year. Or after the present simple or past simple of be. Ahí van, como pueden ver en los siguientes ejemplos, ellos van después del verbo to be, no van antes. They are definitely at home. She was obviously very surprised. So as you can see, they change the position. But these adverbs sometimes come at the beginning of a clause for emphasis. También, obviously and possibly, podemos utilizarlos al principio, no solo perhaps and maybe, ¿verdad? Uh, yes, Olga. Uh, teacher, uh, could you change the zoom of the presentation? <laughs> because I can't see. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> Okay. Please. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if I can change it. Let me see. Let me see if I can do something. Déjeme ver si lo puedo hacer. Quiero ver. Pero me va a tomar un momento. Ok. Pero para que usted vea, yo lo voy a hacer. No problem. Thank you. Ok. <laughs> I cannot see. Ok. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por hacérmelo saber porque tal vez... El dispositivo no es el mismo, la pantalla no es la misma, ¿verdad? Entonces, es un poco difícil de ver, pero ahorita lo cambio, solo para que puedan ver. You can change the size of the presentation. Okay, one moment, please. We, I almost finished. I almost finished. Just let me check here. I let me. I'm just resizing it. Okay. And I'm changing everything right now. Just one moment, please. I almost finished. I creo que así ya va a poder ver mejor, pero avíseme si aún cuesta un poco ver, pero ya lo hice más grande. Me lo estoy haciendo más grande ahorita. I'm just making it a little bit bigger. Okay, I will present it right now.
It's okay like this, Olga? No, it's not. Ah, it's good. It's good, it's good right? Yes. Okay. It's good, it's better. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, como estaba diciendo, estos son, uh, these are the adverbs of probability or certainty, right? We can use certainly, clearly, definitely, obviously, maybe, perhaps, possibly, and probably. And uh, this is the position, right? Mm -hmm. Perhaps and maybe usually goes at the beginning. Usualmente van al principio, but not all the time. Other adverbs of possibility usually come in front of the main verb. Hay unos que van enfrente del verbo principal. He is certainly coming to the party. Will they definitely be there? We will possibly come to England next year. So you can see certainly coming. Definitely be. Possibly come, right? As you can see, it's next to the main verb or after the present simple or past simple of be. También pueden ir después del verbo, del verbo to be, ¿verdad? They are definitely at home. She was obviously very surprised. Uh, but this adverb sometimes can come at the beginning of a clause for emphasis. Como dice aquí también, obviously and possibly pueden ir al principio. Y también lo podemos poner al final si no queremos hacer tanto énfasis. For example, she was very surprised and we place a comma and then obviously. So now obviously will be at the end, right? She was very surprised, obviously. We will come to England next year, possibly. So también lo podemos poner possibly, obviously, al final de la oración, ¿verdad? Con una coma y ponemos el adverbio. Mm -hmm. So this will be the positions of adverbs, okay? Now, I would like to complete this because these are incomplete. So this is incomplete information. We are going to complete it with your help. Now, I need five sentences using adverbs of certainty. Necesito cinco oraciones con adverbios de uh, adverbs of certainty. Certainly, clearly, definitely, obviously, maybe, perhaps, possibly, or probably. Okay, give me number one, please. One volunteer. Un voluntario, alguien que me ayude a hacer las oraciones, porque después ustedes la van a hacer solos, ¿verdad? Con el ejercicio que les acabo de dar. So we can check here right now. We can use anything. For example, maybe. Maybe. And what else can we write? Maybe. What else? Maybe today. What will happen today? Maybe today will rain at night, right? At night. Maybe today will rain at night. Tal vez hoy va a llover en la noche, ¿verdad? Maybe today it will rain at night. It will rain. Okay. Ahora, number two. Alguien que me, que me ayude con la número dos, por favor, a volunteer. Podemos usar possibly, probably. Ya vimos dónde se posicionan, ¿verdad? Um, possible, my husband uh, go to the doctor. Oh, eh, tomorrow. Oh, eh, sería, will go to the doctor. Tomorrow. Okay. Pro possibly my husband will go to the doctor tomorrow. Perfect. Possibly my husband will go to the doctor tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Olga, choose someone else. Alguien más que eh, escoja una de sus compañeros para que me ayuden ya que todos quieren participar. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac, are you there, Isaac? Yes, teacher. Okay, give me one, one sentence with an adverb. Certainly, clearly, obviously, maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. Definitely. I will sleep. Uh huh. Tonight. Very good. Perfect. Definitely, I will sleep tonight. 
Um, let's see, Anna, can I uh, place definitely in another position, in another position in the sentence? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, Él la puso aquí al, al frente, ¿verdad? Está bien. ¿La puedo poner en algún otro lugar en la oración? I will definitely... Very good. I will definitely sleep tonight, right? Perfect. I will definitely sleep tonight. Okay. Anna, uh, choose another classmate, please. Um, Alejandra. Alejandra. Are you there, Alejandra? Not right. You're not yes. there. <laughs> yes. Okay, Alejandra. Give me a sentence with any adverbs of certainty. Maybe, possibly, probably, perhaps. Mm, probably. Mm -hmm. My mother cooks tomorrow. My mother will, will cook, cook tomorrow, right? What is she going to cook? Mm. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, very good. My mother will cook spaghetti tomorrow. Spaghetti, very good. Probably my mother will cook spaghetti tomorrow. We can write it, uh, my mother probably will cook spaghetti tomorrow or my mother will cook spaghetti tomorrow comma probably right last one okay um another volunteer el último voluntario the last one so right are you there no right alejandra alejandra you already participated right yes <laughs> yes okay anna can you give me the last one please Anna, are you there? I, okay. I will, uh -huh. I will probably sleep late tonight. Okay. I will probably sleep late tonight. Very good. Why? Why will you sleep late tonight? Um, I started... Uh, you have to study. Varias cosas, varias cosas. <laughs> okay, you have to study a lot of things. Okay, perfect. Okay, a, lot of things. a lot of things. Yes. A lot of things. Okay, perfect. Uh, I will probably sleep late tonight. Perfect. So you see, we can place it in different uh, positions. It's not just one, and it's just not usually they go at the beginning, right? Or they can be uh, next to the main verb, but also they can be after the verb to be. Okay. So do you have any questions about this? No, no questions, perfect. No. So remember the homework, okay? Tomorrow has to be perfect. The, 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 the things that you will change or maybe will do in the, in, the, in the future days or in the following months, or if you would like to change something from the past, right? Now, um, this, we are going to check this tomorrow. This is for permission actually. Para permiso, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, this is like an obligation. También utilizamos los models eh, para obligation. But I guess uh, we will do this uh, later, like obligation and things like that. Let me see here. Yes. Esto lo vamos a hacer mañana. Déjenme ver. O tal vez lo podemos hacer en este momento. Use the language in the grammar box to talk about science. Yes, vamos a ver nada más este ejercicio. Vamos a verlo en cinco minutos solo para que tengan una idea de lo que vamos a ver mañana. And this is for permission and obligation and prohibition, right? Permission, uh, we are going to use gestures also, right? You can swim here. You're allowed to park here. An obligation, you have to fasten your seatbelt. You've got to take off your shoes. 
and prohibition. You can turn left. Pets aren't allowed in this area. So uh, these are like rules, right? Rules, permission, right? Permission. Um, you can swim here, right? Tú puedes nadar aquí. What does it mean you're allowed to? ¿Qué significa you're allowed to? Permitido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Se le es permitido parquearse aquí, right? You are allowed to park here. So that is permission. Obligation. You have to fasten your seatbelt. You have to. What is the meaning of you have to? What is the meaning of you have que. to? Tú tienes que, right? Fasten es abrocharse el cinturón de seguridad. And you got to, it's like the same. You have to, it's, it's synonym, right? You got to take off your shoes and you can turn left. Prohibition is can't, right? You can't turn left or pets aren't allowed in this area. So pets are not allowed in this area. So, um, for example, number one, are you able to see the pictures? Number one, number two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Now, number one, what is the meaning of number one? What do you think is the permission, obligation, or prohibition? What is the indication for number one? Bajar las escaleras en caso de incendio. Uh-huh, very good. So you need to go downstairs mm -hmm. in case of a fire, right? In case there is a fire, very good. Number two, what is the meaning of number two? This It's a headset, right? Prohibido los audífonos. Prohibido, uh-huh, yeah, probably, yes, in class, right? So mm -hmm. you are not allowed to use headsets, right? You are not allowed. You are not allowed. Number three. What is number three? Arrojar la basura en el cesto. Okay, very good. Throw the garbage in the trash can, right? Throw the garbage in the trash can. We are going, but vamos a tratar de escribir para que les queden aquí. Sí. So, yes, because in this case. So, uh, First one is like um, it's like an indication, right? So you have to go downstairs, go downstairs in case of a fire, right? Fire. Number two, like headsets, you are not allowed, right? Or headsets are not allowed. Let's say headsets are not allowed. Very good. Number three, throw the gash, throw the garbage, right? Throw, sorry, throw the garbage in a trash can, right? Trash can. Number four. It's a cell phone, right? And it's vibrating, something like that. So something like you don't, the, the sound of the cell phone is not allowed. How can you say that with obligation? Bajarle el volumen al celular. Yeah, turn, uh, turn off the volume, right? Turn, mm -hmm. Or turn down the volume. The, your cell phone, your cell phone volume very good number five what is the meaning of number five it's a burger and like a soda right no, se don't don't <laughs> uh -huh. you are not allowed to bring food right probably you are not allowed mm -hmm. to bring food for example, in the cinema or in the movie theater, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number six, bicycle parking only. That is like permission, right? You can park your bicycle mm -hmm. here, right? Bicycle. Mm -hmm. Number seven, 
it's a camera and you cannot use it there. So, no se puede filmar. Uh -huh, you cannot film and you can uh -huh. film. Very uh -huh. good, film. And the last one, photo ID required. Va a tomar fotos. Ah. Photo ID required. Identificación ah. con foto requerido. Ya. So you have to, right? You have to show your photo ID or your DUI, right? In El Salvador, okay. DUI, right? You have to show your DUI in your bank or I don't know, probably you're doing something legally, right? Very good, perfect. So eso es lo que vamos a estudiar mañana. Pero mañana esa no va a ser la tarea, sino que la tarea ya saben cuál es, ¿verdad? You already know what to do with uh, models and adverbs. Do you have any question right now? No questions? No. Just... Okay, perfect. So I will send you this to the group and tomorrow we are going to read it, okay? Mañana lo vamos a leer las oraciones que escriban, okay? So have a nice evening and thank you for being here today. Tomorrow we are going to practice a little bit more. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good evening. Bye. Bye.